Hey guys, so we're going to go over um, <clears throat> recovering, or better yet, uh, removing a password from a user's account in Windows here. So we have Windows 7, um, user account name is test. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put a password on here <coughs> real quick. That way uh, we can go ahead and remove it. So we're going to create a password. And it's going to be test. And we'll go ahead and create that. All right. So right now this account has a password on it. I'll just show you real quick. As you can see right there. I uh, don't want to type it in because then we got to wait for it. So we're going to go ahead and shut this down. And we are going to boot from a program called NT Offline Password Recovery. Uh, very cool tool. So let's go ahead and get to it. I won't make you guys wait for this. This might take a while. So be it. All right. So we've already booted from the uh, NT Offline program. This is the first thing that we're going to see. <clears throat> Didn't press anything, so it went ahead and already started. Um, so we get a few options here. Um, basically, we see that there is a candidate partition found. Uh, that's slash dev slash SDA1. Um, and it's already selected as being the first option. So we can just hit enter. <clears throat> Next, it's going to look for the registry. Um, typically, uh, and I've never seen it any other way, but it's going to be under Windows slash system32 slash config. Um, on this same device that we just selected. So I've never had it be wrong, so you can just hit enter. If you think it's in a different spot, you can enter that different spot here. <clears throat> so what we want to do is we can, we can select what part of the registry we want to load. Um, we want passwords, obviously. That's what we're going for here. We can also go into the recovery console parameters if we feel like it. That's really not why we're here. So we're going to go with one. As you can see in brackets there, it's already selected. So we can just hit enter. <clears throat> now we've loaded the SAM, um, which I'll include a link on what the SAM is as well. Um, what we want to do is option number one to edit user data and passwords. Um, and as you'll see, this is a list of our, um, of our accounts. So we'll have administrator, guest, test, and Windows user. The one that we want to go ahead and reset is test. And this is case sensitive, so be sure that you type it in accordingly. We're going to hit enter. And as you can see, we get several options. We can promote, we can unlock, we can edit the password, uh, and we can clear the password, um, which is the objective of this video here. So we can do option number one to clear it. <coughs> password is cleared as you can see so now we just want to get out of the program some people have a little trouble with this so we do exclamation point to back out Q to quit at this point and it's gonna write changes to it we want to do yes because we want to make those changes permanent in the SAM so do that and it's gonna ask you if you want to run it again and we really don't need to um, you can if you feel like it. Um, so N is already selected. We're going to hit no. And let's type in reboot. And let's see what we get. All right. So we're back here. Windows finished loading. Um, you see we have our test account there. Um, so basically we're going to go ahead and load that one up. And uh, we won't get prompt for a password, as you see. And now we're right in the desktop. So that reference to a password has been completely removed, uh, and it just lets us write in. So this is a good way of, um, I guess, clearing a password if it's been forgotten, uh, amongst with several other things. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to include a link to download, uh, download the software and uh, also some additional reading if you guys wanted to learn up on the SAM a little bit more. Um, 
please subscribe. I'll be making more of these videos a little bit more often now. Um, and, and that's all. All right, thanks, guys.